this is where we are in society, right? Where people no longer get a job to work, support themselves, pay some bills, help moms out, help dad out. Well, you know, take care of your kids. No, we don't do that no more. Now people get jobs still. Yes, that's right, still. And do scams at the same time. Yep, this is where we at right now in society. Hey, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And let me know what you think about this video in the comments. With that said, let's get into this one. December 28, 2022, a few days after Christmas, the Sunrise Police Department received a phone call from a local Burlington coat factory. The call concerned a new employee who allegedly devised a plan to steal thousands of dollars in gift cards from her job at Burlington. New employee. What tipped you guys off to this? Um, oh, corporate. Okay. Yeah. Corporate. From uh, the corporate send, system? Yeah, they send us the information. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, apologize, but um, I have a call. Uh, sunrise. Maybe stand up for me. Put your hands behind your back. Okay? Quick, no time. Do you have anything on you that I need to know about that's going to stick me, poke me, or hurt me? No. No? Okay. Do you understand what's going on today? Yeah. Okay. You might face that for a second. Yeah. Alright, you can take a seat. It's right? Yeah. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. You're detained at this point for grant theft. Okay, based on what Elvis, the LP, has told me. I'm gonna read you your rights. I'm gonna get all your info, ask you some questions, and we go from there. Okay? Alright? I know your mom's on the way? No, she's here. She's on the way. Okay. She's supposed to be on the way. Okay. How old are you? I'm 19. Okay. You ever been read your rights before? How old are you? I'm 15, Mr. Benet. You look dirty. Show me some ID. No. Okay. You have the right to remain? What? 19? By the way, look at the shirt she's rocking. The Wild and Out shirt. <laughs> I remember I used to watch that show back then. It's still going on now, but I haven't watched it in years. She's 19, though? Ain't no way. I thought that was somebody mama. No, I'm being serious. I thought... That woman was somebody's mama. She said she's 19. She looked like she's about 40. She looked older than me. Hey, nah, ain't no way, sir. Nah, nah. Sir, check that identification again. Nah. In silent. Anything you say, Kena, will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney before and during any questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you prior to any questioning, if you desire. Do you understand? Would you like to talk to me about what happened? Yeah, if I return some of the cars, would any of the money get taken out? Unfortunately, no, because it's already lost from our inventory. Um, so we'll have no choice but to charge it for the whole amount um, that was lost during the return process. So what happened? How long have you been employed here? For almost a month. Okay, and what happened? So I we can do like returns for stuff and then get credits from the store. Mm -hmm. But I didn't realize like it was actual money. I just thought it was Burlington credits. Like it wouldn't cause any loss or anything. And I was just trying to get my siblings some gifts for Christmas. Okay. But I didn't know it was actual money. How many times did you do this uh, transaction return to get credits? If you had to guess. I've done it a couple of times, but I haven't. You, I only bought stuff once okay. after they told after I asked. After I bought that stuff for Christmas, I asked them, and I was like, what, the person who was checking me out, he was like, oh, you can't do that. Like, that's actual money. Like, he told me that I couldn't do it, and I, I haven't bought nothing else, and I still have the gift cards, haven't used them after that, after he told me that I wasn't allowed to do that. Okay, how many gift cards did you have total? I had, like, five or six gift cards, but... And these, how much dollar on each on each one? Some of them had like fourteen dollars, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars. Some the most one had was two hundred thirteen dollars, which I used on Christmas. The other gift cards I still have in my home, haven't used them or nothing. Okay, still have gift cards. Do you know how much money you have left on those gift cards that you still have? No. Okay. Do you know how much you spent on Christmas? Um, I forgot um, the amount he said. It was four thirty-one. Four thirty-one. That was on Christmas. Dang. And when did this start? When did you start doing this return yeah. stuff? Like, I don't know, like two weeks ago when I learned how to, when someone... T Who taught you? One of the managers taught me how to do the returns. Were they teaching you 
because they do it as well. Yeah, everybody does it. They're teaching me how to do it, like, because I'm supposed to know how to do that. Okay, so were, do you think they were doing it for the same reasons? Like, no, no you okay. have, you can have, you, you give the customers a choice to either get Burlington credits or their money back from what they paid for the thing. Okay. Um, prior to today, and just be honest with me, mm -hmm. you had these gift cards at home. Yes. When you learned that it was um, theft or, or fraud, whatever it is, why didn't you bring it back or alert a manager like, hey, I've been making a mistake? Mm, I, I just, be just honest. didn't want, I just wasn't going to do it again. I didn't think anybody would notice. <laughs> okay. Were you on shift today? Yeah. Did you do any of that today? Yeah. Okay. What about yesterday? No, I wasn't. Here you weren't yesterday. here yesterday. Okay. So when when did you get told? Wait, wait, wait. She said she did it yesterday. I gotta hit that one more time. But wait. As soon as she was finished training for that, she immediately started still. She literally wasted no time. So man, it seems to me. That she was a thief before she got this job. Because there's no way, right? You don't get a job and you start stealing. You have to have been stealing way before you got this job. And then you brought that habit into your job. That's what it seems like to me. And the other thing I'm reading is her body language. Guys, you know, this is how calm she is, right? She just calm, nonchalant, just hanging out. You know, that it's like a regular day. I have a feeling that like she did this before, man. And she probably just never got caught. Or maybe she got caught. I don't know. But her body language is way too calm. She's talking way too smoothly. To be knowing that you're going to jail. She ain't never reserved her rights and be like, nah, I don't want to say anything. She just talking. Telling everything. Okay. Were you on shift today? Yeah. Did you do any of that today? Yeah. Okay. What about yesterday? No. I wasn't here. You weren't yesterday. here yesterday? Okay. So when when did you get told? The day I bought those presents. That's on when Christmas. I got told. Okay. No, it was December 23rd. The 23rd. Okay. And you haven't bought no. since then? Did any other store employees tell you, like, hey, I do that, I keep no. the money, nothing like that? Nothing like that. Okay. So it's not like a common thing here, no. to your knowledge. Okay. Um, do you have your internal report? Don't you guys type up like an internal thing? We do after. Yeah. After? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Um, and then do you have like the transaction history? Yep, I have it all. Any Thanks. If you wanna I only cuffed right in search. If you wanna. I don't know. That's a good question, I'll ask that. Hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, so she is correct. She actually and it was for a total of how many transactions? Ten. I'm sorry, ten. ten um, Damn. Yeah. And you were alerted by corporate. Yep, yeah, those corporate. They emailed us. Mm. They emailed us whole entire thing. Okay. Did you question her prior to me coming in here? Yes. What, she, what did she, she say? Did she wrote her statement. Oh, she did? Yeah, she, she wrote, wrote pretty that? much everything that she discussed with you. Cool. She's very cooperative. Still look like somebody mama, though. Okay. Man, that's somebody mama. Stop. I'm Right now. Okay. Um, so I still have you in the system from uh, Century Twenty. <laughs> and you guys she's a, she's yeah. an honest yeah. thief. Yeah. All right. Sheesh. Are you able to email me that? I can email you this. Perfect. Yeah. So if you can, and then do you have um, do you have CCTV footage? We do. I was telling JD his cameras are kind of lagging. Okay. Um, he said he can do it. Okay. His end. Um, if you need it right now, I can. No, um, I'll get it later. Okay. Uh, as long as I know that you guys have yeah, it. And definitely have it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, have you seen the actual CCTV? I did. I saw a couple of the transactions. I didn't see because it's about ten of them. But yeah. I saw a couple where she actually does. She does a uh, gift receipt. That's how she does it. Okay. So she doesn't keep the actual customer receipt. Ain't got me on tape. 
She said they did. Fire me on the spot. Mm -hmm. Right before she gets the receipt, she actually doesn't get the receipt, so that way she can do it. So is that defraud the customer or the business? That defrauds the business. The business, yeah, okay. because our inventory... I got you. Does the customer also get the money back? Uh, the customer does not, but the only the way it would actually default the customer is that they can't return it again. The so item? Yeah, the, once you do a return, like you do a return, you can't use that same receipt to do another return. Anyway. Got it. Okay. All right. Mm. All right, now here's the deal, okay? Because of the dollar amount, it's a felony, okay? We just basically have to process your paperwork, take you down to the jail, they process it, and then they, they kick you out, okay? Do you have any questions for me? No. Um, what I would suggest is any gift cards you do have, once you get out, any gift cards you do have, I would say bring back because it will show maybe the state attorney who's going to prosecute the case that you're trying to give back the stuff. I know he, Elvis has his hand side. He's an LP. He's got to follow what corporate says, but I'm talking about the court side of it. It may help you just to. I don't care what none of y'all say. <laughs> Got somebody, mama. Ain't no way. She 19 years old. I was telling my girl, we were saying the same thing. Like, what's going on? Maybe it's in the water, the food. Maybe it's in the air. I don't know what it is. But kids these days, what even the kids? Adults in their teens. Looking like they in their 30s. I saw this young man. I got arrested, right? His mom and father was there. Guys, I do not. He looked like he was their father. He looked, he looked like twice their age. I don't know what it is. And he was only 22. Imagine, he was 22, but looking older than his mother and father. It, no, what's going on? No, it has to be something in the food. Maybe in certain areas. I don't know. But it can't just be me. You guys let me know in the comments. Have you been seeing that a lot lately? Let me know in the comments. Nah. That's somebody, mama. I don't care. To give Burlington their stuff back. Okay. Um, we're just going to walk you to our substation and we'll go from there, okay? You have any questions? Any property here that's yours other than that? I have a purse in the front that's um, under register one. Under register one? What color is what it? Color? Red. It's red. Does it have like your ID and stuff in it? Yes. Okay. Um, does it have anything in it we need to worry about? No. Okay. All right. Um, we're good. She does chill. I'll take you out, okay? I'm chill. Damn. I would have been asking mad questions. I would have been scared. Uh, I'll leave those gift cards. If you can just. Uh, those are. Those, those are the ones they already use. No, I didn't use those. Okay. Do they have money? I don't, I don't know. Okay. 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 Is that your like uh, register? That's card? my employee card right here. Okay. Do you want the employee card to say? Yeah. Okay. We'll clock, we'll clock you out. Which is uh, 624. Is, is she going to be trespassed from the store? Yeah. For how long? A year, okay, because it'll be from the mall for a year. It'll, it's whatever you guys okay. do from the whole mall. So I'll explain that all to her. All right, well, I'm gonna walk you the quick way so we don't have many people see you. Want to make a copy? Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, and then uh, if you can meet us at the substation, you know where it is, right? Um, Avenue Three. Nah, give it a walk of shame, right, man. If, can one of you guys wait with him and when he gets the purse or somebody? I don't know where I am. <laughs> Come on, cut. We're gonna go this way. Actually, let's hug the wall so people don't really see you. The suspect was charged with grand theft for stealing a total amount of just under five thousand dollars within a seven-day time span. She claimed she needed the money to buy Christmas gifts for her family, and the case is still pending. We're sure she won't be working in retail anytime soon. Oh, she just wanted a few dollars just to buy some Christmas. What's wrong with that? She just wanted to surprise her family. But she just went about it the wrong way. Man, you're young. Even though you're 19, looking like you're about 38, I'm just saying, you got to work hard, man. You can't get a job and the, and the second weekend, you already stealing? What do you, like, what do individuals think like when they get a job, right? You just don't go in there to steal? You don't think they're going to be watching you? You absolutely really taught that true, ma'am. That they were not going to watch you. That nothing was going to show up. You're talking about thousands. <laughs> Trust me. Y'all retailing, corporate, they watch their money like a hawk. 
If you, if you wasn't retail, you know what I'm talking about. Because I wasn't there for like 20 years. Trust me. Do, do not play with their money. They, they, they've been watching you, man. They let it go up to a certain amount. And they're like, all right, it's time. Let's get it. That's what they do. Nobody learns. Everybody does the same thing over and over. I sure that's there chilling. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. I took that amount. Yeah. Any questions? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm hanging out, you know. Like, like this was nothing. Wow, unreal, man. And the crazy part about it is that I don't know why people do that. Your job. Put it this way, right? What you risk your job for, you could have made more than that in the long haul. You might get a few thousands now, but in the long haul, you would have made more money. But but then again, they teach. They don't think that far ahead. No, they don't. They just think about the moment in time and what they could get at that moment in time. I know this one lady, nicest lady you ever meet. And she had the job. She'd been working there way before I was because she was, she was like around 50. And at that time, I was like around maybe 27 years old, maybe 26, around that, right? Nicely, you would never expect her to be stealing. Well, she been doing a few things here and there. She went and lost her job. Keep in mind, she's been there for like 30 years before I even got there, right? And she's been, she was getting, she was a full-timer, getting paid almost 100,000 a year, right? Keep in mind. Guys, she risk it all for a free air coupon. Yes, she risk it all for a free Air coupon that she took from a customer. The customer used the coupon. She kept the coupon. And when she got and when she got off of work, she went to use that same coupon. Guys, the egg was only about it was like four something. That was it. You lost a hundred thousand dollar job over a free egg coupon. That's all I'm saying. Same thing goes for her. You risk your job. It could have been your career. You never know when you could have moved up in the ladder of success. For a few thousand dollars? You didn't even try to hit the big score like about 20? <laughs> Come on. You could have made that in about two months. Ask, go ahead. Hey, can I guess, you guys get extra hours? I like to get extra few hours. You know, it's Christmas time. Come up with something. And if not, get another job at the side. You're young, 19. Even though you're 38 and in our eyes. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? Come on, young people. You gotta do better, man. I'm seeing that pattern. And a lot of young people die. And that's what that's what I'm saying. We gotta address the behavior. Because when you see all these young people doing all these smashing grabs, the stealing, it becomes a habit to them. It becomes something that they, they feel like they just have to do. You don't. A job is not for that. I just want for you to try to help and support yourself. Pay taxes. We all don't like to pay taxes, but we got to pay them taxes. And help yourself grow in life, man. Then if that job, after, after a little while, you know you want to move up, you want more money, you try to get a promotion. If not, you go and find a better job. You keep trying to move up. That's the goal in life. You don't risk it for a few dollars, man. All right, man, I'm going to leave you guys with this, man. It was this young man at my job where I used to work at. Nice young man. But he wasn't involved with the stealing, right? So the other girls were, right? It was like a little ring of them, like about four or five of them. They all got fired at the same time. But he was not involved. But he knew what they were doing and didn't say anything because they all were friends. And you guys hear what I always say. Be careful who you associate yourself with. Because he was trying to get a promotion. He lost that and his job. All because you didn't want to do the right thing because they're your friends. Listen, friends are out of work. When we at work, work is work. And I hope, if you're really my friend, you would understand that. I can't risk my job for you, man. You ain't going to pay my bills, man. You ain't going to pay my car note, my insurance, my phone bill. You ain't going to do that for me. 
If you is, then I can understand. All right. But in reality, you're not. And he lost his job. All by he thinking he was being loyal to his friends, not realizing the bigger picture that he just lost everything. Ah, oh, man. Hopefully, she learned her lesson, but she seemed too nonchalant. She learned absolutely nothing from this arrest. She was just chilling. I don't think she, if she gets an opportunity again, she might do it again. Because we know what the system does. They get a slap on the wrist like it's nothing. So to them, in their eyes, it's worth the risk. Still, they still don't realize that they have their whole life ahead of them. And that is going to affect your future. If they don't keep that in mind, they should. But they're young. But they don't keep that in mind. If you see this video, always remember that. It might not affect you now, in the present time. But it might affect your future. When you have your life together, you have a family and kids, you, now you want to get a job, and you can't get a job, because what you did in the past has came back to haunt you. Hey man, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, and let me know what you think about this video in the comments. You guys honestly believe that she is 19 years old? You guys honestly believe that she learned something here today? And until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. You guys have a blessed day.